Josh, and I'm here at the World Climate Summit today for Hub Culture at COP21 in Paris. Absolutely delighted to be joined now by Jens Nielsen, Thanks. founder and CEO of the World Climate Limited and the host of today's event. Yes. So how's it going? It's going great. We are at the close of the event or right mm -hmm. now. It's been a fantastic day. And I think we have delivered what we promised, or rather our stakeholders here, all the participants mm -hmm. has delivered, have delivered what they promised. So it's good. And what a do they world, promise? It's a uh, solution revolution mm -hmm. and uh, a day full of uh, action and a day full of proof that um, governments and uh, cities and businesses and financiers are, are doing things mm -hmm. and they are creating jobs, they are creating growth also by going green mm -hmm. and greener. And that's what we need. Tell me some of the specific solutions that we've heard about today. We've uh, heard about Dubai, mm -hmm. uh, where Dubai has come out with a new plan for 2050. They have increased their 2030 targets for renewable energy mm -hmm. from 15 to 25 percent solar. Mm -hmm. They have promised 75 uh, percent uh, clean energy for 2050. We've heard about Vancouver, who mm -hmm. just got voted one of the greenest cities in the world, and how they have a holistic, a holistic approach to, mm -hmm. to uh, greening uh, Vancouver. We've heard about Iceland mm -hmm. and how they are moving towards uh, uh, non-carbon uh, energy sector. Fossil uh, fuel free, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've heard about uh, uh, pension Den from the pension Denmark and mm -hmm. how they invest a massive amount of money. I think today they're, they're probably the world's largest financier, one of the world's largest financier in the green sector. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, in windmill windmills and, mm -hmm. and other uh, renewable energy projects. Mm -hmm. So we've heard many good things. Tell me a little bit about your next event, which I know is going to be in Dubai. What's the focus of that? Uh, in Dubai, uh, next year we'll host again the, um, the uh, World Green Economy Summit, mm -hmm. summit that we do in, the, in partnership with the Dubai government. Uh, and uh, that, that is becoming a really, really good, important platform. Uh, with, with, uh, it's a big platform also. We focus there on public-private partnerships, mm -hmm. so trying to engage the, all the capital that is needed uh, to uh, scale green technologies, but also to invest in green infrastructure. Uh, we work with uh, with, with partners, uh, partnering uh, business and government and, and finance. I'm interested in how important you think um, a strong agreement coming out of COP21 from the from countries is versus all of the kind of non-state actors and the lower lower down, the cities, the states. What's the balance, do you think? Uh, I think it's important to show a signal that, um, that uh, they, they're able to make an agreement. Mm -hmm. I, I think that um, my experience of being with the COP for seven years is that it, it is a very negotiated environment where you, you, you get the possible agreement and probably nothing more, but it's very mm -hmm. important to show the world that that, uh, the, po that they, the politicians, that they are able to, to get to an agreement to push uh, movement further ahead. Jens, thank you so much for stopping by our stand here, Hub Culture, at the World Climate Summit in Paris, and I'm Edie Lash.